Hey gaming fans, so today I have a box opening of the Speed Duel Midterm Paradox. Um, I just kind of picked this up just for just for fun. It was on sale. I picked it up on Amazon, uh, so, so it was pretty cheap. Uh, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it. But I thought it'd be fun to just do like an opening and, and check it out. Because um, I'm not too familiar with all the Speed Duel products myself. I think I like the concept of Speed Duel. Um, but uh, I didn't really heavily get into it. I bought like some of the structure decks or whatever they are, the Toon one and stuff. But um, so this might be interesting. I mean, GX is not one of my more favorite eras of the uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm not too much into that, uh, like the Elemental Hero stuff. Some of it's kind of it, but um, you know, whatever. So let's see. We got this whole pull-out thing here. I guess it's uh, all the rules and the play the uh, the play mat whatever um but yeah yeah we'll, we'll look at that after let's see what we got okay ufo roid fighter i bet you i'm gonna have like all of these cards i i I'm, i wouldn't be surprised if i have you know but you know the thing about speed duel i guess is you have to have, you if you want to actually play speed duel you have to play with the actual speed duel cards you which I'm not, I'm not crazy about that idea because I got all these cards that I, you, you, you know, can't use because it just doesn't have that speed duel thing on it. But whatever. So we got the UFO Roid Fighter. Requires a UFO Roid and one warrior. A fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion material monsters. The original attack and defense of this card become combined original attack of the two materials used for its fusions. I don't know if I've ever tried pulling this guy out before. I don't think so. A oh, really fancy looking drill roid. Kazajin, <laughs> oh yeah, oh and Gate Guardian, yay. Uh, I got like the original Great Gate Guardian, I got some of the common versions of him, now I got the Speed Duel version of him, that's cool. I mean he's such a useless monster, he's just there for beef, like high attack, that's really all he's good for. I mean, to all, the, the trouble to get, to get him out, unless they start designing cards to help pull him out, you know, to special summon him with, with different ways, or I don't know. Banishing all the materials from your deck to special summon them. Other than that, he's just not worth it. He has no no effect. He really doesn't do anything. So let's see what we got here. We got Elemental Hero Avian. Elemental Hero Burstrinitrix. Burstrinit Burstrinit Cleeman. And Sparkman. Probably like the only one that I've really used is Sparkman. Goddess of the Third Eye. This is cool. You get to use him as material fusion, uh, a fusion material. Um, to substitute, we got the Wing Karibo. Now, I, I, I believe the way that these things are, they're into, they're made into decks or something like that. So you play certain, uh, you know, character decks. Dark Catapulter. Uh, Bubble Man. I always love Bubble Man. This is a fun card, especially when you, you know, you pull his effect off. You get to draw the two cards. Really cool guy. Blade Edge and Wild Heart. And Blaze Man, Elemental Hero Blaze Man. I don't think I have this one. If this card is normal, a special summon, you can add one polymerization from your deck to your hand. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. You can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except fusion monsters. Also send one Elemental Hero monster from your deck to the graveyard except Elemental Hero Blaze Man. And if you do, this card's attribute and attack and defense become the same as the monster sent to the graveyard until the end of turn. Oh, that's an interesting effect. So we got our polymerization. We got H heated heart. Our righteous justice. Skyscraper 2, Hero City. A hero lives. Oh, that's a good card. Sabinal, the Philosopher's Stone. What in the... If you have a Wing Karibo... Never heard of this one. If you have a Wing Karibo monster in your graveyard, pay half your life points, add polymerization spell or fusion spell from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish three copies of the Sabbatal, the Philosopher's Stone, from your graveyard, then target one monster on the field. It gains attack equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack. Interesting. But they probably only give you one, I bet, right? <laughs> so you'll never pull off that secondary effect. Hero Signal, Hero Ring. You know, these are, usually the elemental heroes are pretty weak on their own like this, and but I can see in Speed Duel this being a little bit better. Hero Counter Attack. Now we got into the fusion, we got the Tempest, the Electrum, Wingman, Mariner, Nova Master. I like this guy because you get to draw cards. 
Oh, water dragon. I remember trying to build, build a deck around this guy a long time ago. Uh, copy normal summoned, or set must be special summoned with bonding H2O. The attack of fire monsters and pyro monsters on the field becomes zero. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target two Hydrogeddons and one Oxygeddon in your graveyard and special summon them. It's basically the materials to, uh, I guess, when you play that bonding H2O card. Yeah, it's okay. I remember playing Hydrogeddons. It used to be like a staple card a long time ago. Uh, Fire Zenru, one of those cards you can't pronounce. Hydrogeddons. Uh, so you get two of them, because he does special summon another copy. Oxygeddon. Jurek, <laughs> what's he doing in here? Gains 100 attack points for each monster your opponent controls. I mean, that's why I like the speed duel concept. It kind of brings you back to the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Carbon get Carbon Nadon. Hey, we got a flame kaiju in here. Cool. Water Dragon Cluster. I don't know what this is. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summon with the with the effect of bonding spell or trap. This card is special summon. You can activate its effects for the rest of this turn. Also change the oh. Effect monsters your opponent currently controls cannot activate their effects for the rest of this turn. <clears throat> also change the attack to zero until the end phase of this turn. You can tribute this card to special summon two water dragon from your hand or deck in defense position, ignoring their summoning conditions. Interesting. So that's that, uh, who is that? The water dragon guy? <laughs> then we got Deuteron. Okay. You can discard this card, add one bonding spell trap. From your deck to your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one Hydrogeddon, Oxygeddon, or Deuteron from your graveyard. Special summon it. That's cool. But he's a level 5. Huh. Ryuku. Oh. Scroll of Bewitchment. Just change the attribute. Legendary Ocean. There's the Bonding H2O. You, so. Oh, there's a Bonding D2O. Okay. Tribute one Deuteron and one Oxygeddon from your hand or field. Special summon one Water Dragon or Water Dragon Cluster. From your hand, deck, or graveyard, this is treated as a special summon. If Water Dragon or Water Dragon Cluster is sent from your field to your graveyard, well, this card is in your graveyard. You can add to your hand. Add, you can th add this card to your hand. You can then use this effect once per turn. Living Fossil. That's kind of like a Monster Reborn style card. Cursed of the Forbidden Spell. Bonding DHO. Shuffle one Duotron and Hydro Hydra get on or and one Oxygenum from your hand or and or graveyard into your deck special summon one water dragon cluster from me so basically you're always pulling out that big water dragon guy Desquala, <laughs> this is a fun one white magi white magician Pikaro. so a little bit of life gaining so with death wombat so you don't take any effect damage frost and flame dragon i think i remember this guy Cannot be normal summoned or set must be special summoned from your hand by banishing one fire and two two water monsters from your graveyard once per turn, you can discard one card and target one monster on the field and destroy that target. <laughs> it's kind of like a, what do you call them, like the chaos monsters, but not as good. Sea koalas, wonder why that's in there. Loud cloud of the storm serpent. Interesting. Fifth hope. Disposable learner device. The equipped monster gains 200 attack for each monster in your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there for the field this turn, you could set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Huh? I guess for speed duel, that's okay. You take no effect damage. And we got these guys again. Oh, another UFO Roid Fighter and Necrid Shaman. So that's in the first area. I mean, yeah, I got, I got a lot of these cards, so. That's the skill cards, I guess. Makes them easy to open. We got a little flappy thing that you can pull. I also bought a uh, box of the uh, the new set. What's it called? The Blackwing Blast or something like that. So can't wait to get that that box. And I haven't bought a lot box of cards in a long time. So we got the Cycloid Gyroid. Each time this card would be destroyed by battle. Um, the first time this card would be destroyed by battle each turn, it is not. So that's a good defender. Steamroid. I remember building the Roids deck. They're they're a fun uh, group. UFO Roid. Mechanical Hound, Express Roid, this guy's the, like one of the best ones, Ambulance Roids, Submarine Roids, oh I always used to play this guy, 
stealth roid, truck roid, rescue roid, <laughs> mixer roid. Oh, I don't have this guy. I remember reading about this guy a long time ago. You can tribute one machine monster, special summon one non wind roid monster from your deck. You could pay half your life points. What? You could pay half your life points and banish any number of machine monsters from your graveyard, including this card to special summon from your extra deck one roid fusion monster with the same level as the number of those banished monsters, ignoring its summoning conditions, but destroy it during the end phase. So that's pretty cool. Weapon change. Shield crush. So putting things into defense mode. This is a fun card. <laughs> you used to pull out that big fusion guy. Twister, just to get rid of back row. Supercharge, nice draw card for, for Roid deck. Wander Garage, when this, card is, when this set card is destroyed and set to the graveyard, you can special summon one level four lower machine Roid monster from your hand. So bad it's not deck, like why hand? Then we got Emergency Call. When a spell, a trap card, or a monster effect is activated, well, you control a roid fusion monster and negate the activation and send all cards with the same name from the... So basically like a, a solemn judgment style. Steam Gyroid. It's just a big beat stick. This is a guy I remember pulling out with that other card. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Super Vehicle Roid Stealth Union. An another Gate Guardian. Now we got Gate Guardians all over the place. Labyrinth Wall. So this must be the... Uh, what do you call it? Those guys. Th their deck. Crass Crown, Dream Crown, Jerry Gumo. Yes, I remember them pulling it out in the show. Shadow Ghoul, that's stupid. Senga, Kazajan, and Suijan. See, they need a way to, like, you know, get the Gate Guardian out a lot easier. They, they gotta come up with some kind of card for that. Stone Statue of the Aztecs, that's just high defense. Uh, Roshinkan Clown, Kaiser Seahorse. Unshaven Angler, yeah, they're trying to get you to summon those guys easy by using these guys as material because they could be used as two tributes for a specific um, attribute. And then you got Soul Exchange, Fairy Meteor Crush for piercing. Again, trying to help you get the tribute summons out. I don't know, if, you, if you're if able to get all these guys out, you're not going to waste your time getting rid of them just to put out one Gate Guardian. Double Summon, Judgment of Anubis. And Labyrinth of Nightmare. Okay, so now we get into the skill card. So let's see what the skills are. So we got Heroes Unite Fusion. Activate this skill during your main phase. Discard one card, then fusion summon one elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you if summoning an elemental hero fusion monster this way that requires three or more materials and you control elemental hero monsters that are mentioned in the materials, you can also use monsters in your deck as fusion material. So that's pretty good. Chemistry in motion. This is probably all about that uh, dinosaur guy. It's got a lot of a lot of little tiny text on these things. The roids are all right. Vehicle roid connection zone can be used to fusion any roid monsters from your extra deck. All roid monsters whose original level is six or lower, can be normal summon or set without tributing. So that's cool. Behold the Gate Guardian <laughs> Paradox. Activate this skill during your main phase. Shuffle your entire hand into your deck, then add one level 11 monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, you can special summon up to two level seven monsters with different attributes. So this is obviously the attempt to try and summon Gate Guardian. You can special summon two level different attributes from your deck and our graveyard, but their attack and defense become zero. Also, their effects are negated. While you control Gate Guardian, it gains the following effect. Once per turn, while face up on the field, when this card is treated as for or targeted for an attack, you can change the attacking monster's attack to zero. Huh. So I thought it would be a little bit better than that, but I guess any any help to try and get out Gate Guardian is, is good. Under pressure. So it's all about the, those dinosaur guys. Chilling Outback, Chumley. Once per turn, you can change one face-up koala or kangaroo monster's battle position. Koala and kangaroo monsters you control can attack while face-up in defense position. Oh, I like that, because they have high defense, so you can just sit there in defense mode and attack with them. You got Hero World, Power Bond. Activate this skill during your main phase. Discard one card. Then fusion summon one machine fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you do, it gains attack equal to its original attack until the end of this turn. 
but it cannot attack your opponent directly. During the end phase of this turn, you take damage. So it's basically like the power of on uh, magic card, or spell card, I should say. Beware of the Brothers Paradox. Apply the following skills. You can normal summon you can normal summon level 7 monsters for one less tribute. You can tribute summon one level 7 monster face up in, addi in addition to your normal summoner set. Your opponent takes no effect damage. What? That's weird. You can only attack with, with one monster each turn, but that monster can make a second attack on monsters during the battle phase. So I guess if you got your gate guardian out, you can attack twice. <laughs> then we got the other uh, paradox card. Activate this skill while your life points are a thousand or less. You can normal summon Suijin, Kazajin, or Sanjin of the Thunder without tributing this turn. Or you can, if, if you control Suijin, Kazajin, and Sanjin, Sanjin of the Thunder, you can apply this skill instead. Send as many cards on the field as possible to the graveyard, then special summon one Gate Guardian from your deck, ignoring it summoning. There you go, now you can summon the uh, Gate Guardian. So I guess Speed Deal made uh, Gate Guardian somewhat playable. <laughs> Believe in your bro. And Small Roid Big City. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, add one Roid card from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, when an attack is declared involving an opponent's monsters, and a roid monster you control, you can send one roid monster from your deck or your, to your graveyard. Uh, switch the original attack and defense. So, yeah, pretty good. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, trying to make, uh, you know, old cards work again. Um, especially through, like, Speed Duel. Um, you know, where you play kind of a different style of Yu-Gi-Oh. Makes uh, some old crappy cards somewhat, uh, you know, playable. Anyways, yeah, it's kind of neat. Like I said, I just picked it up for fun. Um... You know, I was on Amazon, and it was just on sale. I, I think it was, I, I can't remember, it was like 12 bucks or something. So, you know, I didn't pay a lot. I just thought, I, I don't have a lot of Speed Duel stuff, and I don't have a lot of skill cards. So I thought maybe I'll just pick this up just for some fun. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Uh, do you play Speed Duel? Should it, is it better, is it worth playing and investing in the cards? Always like to hear what you have to say. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.